All right, so in this video, we're just gonna be finishing up the uh, Range Rover shell. So welding up those little fenders, the wheel well fenders, and also doing a little, uh, little details like putting the seat brackets on. So stick around for the video. It's mostly like painting, time lapses and stuff, but uh, it's kind of satisfying to see for those OCD uh, people. So let's get going. Well here it is, so this is the chassis painted with the trim clad uh, paint. So I wanted to do all the inside with that black stuff because it's, well I have more of it. Uh, and keep the good stuff for the underside. So this is the underside of the truck cleaned. Uh, it took a lot of work to try to get all that grease off. I think someone, uh, something was leaking under, and so when they uh, 
the truck was driving, I was probably spraying oil all over the place. So this is the final result. Uh, it's not quite dry yet, but it's pretty close. And um, it's looking pretty nice. You can see that the fenders I did for the wheels are not the same as the original fender. Um, they're just straight instead of having that sort of curve in them. Pretty satisfied of how it came out. It looks really nice, especially the uh, floor pans. Really clean. Look how nice that is. It's gonna wash off really easily with uh, with mud on it. Just pressure wash it, and it's this epoxy stuff is like glass, so it's gonna be pretty nice to work with. So in the next video, we're gonna be going to get the Jetta Donor car, which I I finally decided that I was gonna buy. It was the first one I went to go see like three months ago, and I just can't find anything cheaper than that one, even though it's got like a blown turbo. So that's gonna give me a chance to, or actually force me to get a upgrade turbo and make more power anyways. So stick around for the next video. It's gonna be really exciting to get that Jetta in the uh, driveway and pull that motor out. See you in the next video.